and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by simply utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, we wanted to let everyone know that our website will be down for about 24 hours. Starting at about 10 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday this week, which will be around 3 to 4 a.m. in the morning on Thursday for Europe, and going until about the same time on Thursday night for North America and Friday morning for Europe. We're revamping several things on our website, not the least of which will be our eShop and being able to find rules, errata, and FAQs for all of our games too. This week I'll be back to doing both of my live videos. My wife Jessie and I will be back with the Mythic Plays live stream on Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. And I'll be back with my live Q&A on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. So I'll look forward to seeing you all then. Now, we're waiting on responses to emails that we've sent to the hubs for Steam Watchers, so we won't have anything to say just yet, but I'll do my best in posting a comment update as soon as we do hear back from them. But other than that, we only have updates for Time of Legends, Joan of Arc, and Darkest Dungeon, the board game today, so let's get to those. For Joan of Arc this week, we wanted to give an update on the feedback we're receiving from backers that have begun receiving their 1.5 pledges. There have been a lot of positive reports along with a fair amount of constructive criticism and while it's the former that we will mainly be addressing today, we don't want to turn a blind eye to all the good that's been said too. So in general, a big thanks to everyone. We listen to everything you say. First and foremost, we need to establish a proper avenue for the relay of said feedback. Two things are at work here. The need for us to be able to accurately organize your messages and assess the magnitude of the issues at hand, and our ability to see your feedback without it being covered up by other posts in social media. While we monitor many of the social media avenues available in situations like these, it's better to have a main avenue for response so that we don't miss any of your messages. So please contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net with your feedback so that we can more efficiently categorize and record it on our end. We also understand that we need to be timely in this matter too. So we want to impose a deadline on the giving of this feedback of December 10th. After December 10th, we'll aggregate all existing messages and act based on that collected information, while any new messages will be archived. The way fulfillment is currently going, most, if not all of you, will have received your pledges by then and will have had a chance to get back to us. This will allow us time to have discussed and evaluated your responses in order to provide solutions, hopefully before we go into our company's holiday, holiday break. We're going to take responsibility on the mistakes for which we are responsible, but we need your help in following the prescribed avenue for feedback with the customer support team so that we can ensure that your voice is heard. For Darkest Dungeon today, while it isn't necessarily a production update of sorts, we were able to get pictures of some of the PPC minis from the factory for your perusal today. A couple of things of note before we show you that montage, though. These are from a first pass at the plastic molds at the factory. We've asked for some corrections, like some of the weapons need to be sharper and so on, but these are approximately 95% final. Only the monster minis came in, so there won't be any hero minis just yet, but enjoy.
And finally, I've been told by the project manager that since playtests will be finishing this week, we will be able to have a production and development update next week, so stay tuned. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris time with a live Q&A in French. So please tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show. As mentioned earlier, I'll be back to normal this week for my videos, so be on the lookout for those on Thursday and Friday this week. But that's it for today. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.